What is going on ERB sports fans? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, Steph Curry meet De'Aaron Fox. This is the first round playoff matchup that I was absolutely looking forward to and dreading at the same time. These are two of my favorite players. I collect a ton of Steph Curry, collect a ton of De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox finally on the playoffs with the Kings. I called it. I told everybody when I was buying his cards for the last year and a half, I said, I feel like this team is going to make a turnaround. They hired Mike Brown. And they finally, finally look like they're turning the corner. Finished third in the Western Conference. But they have to play the defending champion Golden State Warriors. Ouch. But... You never know what can happen. So I want to give you guys a breakdown of what I will think, what I think will happen in this series or what I hope will happen. Um, either way, I think I'm going to come out happy. If it goes deep and the Warriors win, I'm going to be happy. Steph Curry is going to make a deep playoff run. I think if they get by the Kings, they're going probably all the way to the finals again. And then if the Kings win, I'm going to be very, very happy because they will make the second round. And to be honest, I'll probably try to sell a few of the cards that I have. Not trying to pump and dump Deer and Fox, but I've been sitting on a lot of Deer and Fox for a while, and I'll probably get rid of some doubles. Uh, but keep some of my favorites. The purple here with the color match, that's one of my favorites. I'm not selling that card one bit. Although I could make a lot of money on that one relative to what I paid for that. I paid $40 for that at the last year's Midwest Monster in October, right before the season, and I'm wasn't even marked with a price. The guy, you know, had it in his case. And I said, how much you got on the deer and fox? He said, mm, let me look. He said, uh, how's 40 sound? And I said, you got yourself a deal. I said, I might be catching a falling knife, but Mike Brown is their coach. And I have a feeling that they are headed to the playoffs this year. Finally, after 16 years of not making the playoffs. So what's going to happen in this playoff series? Well, you never know what's going to happen. You never know if injuries are going to crop up for either team. But it looks like at this point, both teams are going to be at full strength. The Warriors are getting Andrew Wiggins back after a very lengthy absence. The Kings are pretty much healthy all season. And uh, they gave their guys a couple of break days down the stretch. They're going to be fresh. They're a very young team, very inexperienced. So they have absolutely nothing to lose in this series. Everything to gain. They got a coach with a lot of playoff experience, so I think that's going to bode really well for them. Mike Brown's going to get them prepared to play. I think either way, this is probably going to go six or seven games as I pay attention to the Matt George uh, Locked on Kings podcast a lot. That's kind of his pick. Not riding with Matt George's pick, but just in general, I think that the Kings are good enough to give the Warriors two or three games, if not win the series. And uh, I think the Warriors are good enough to give the Kings two or three games, if not win the series. So this should be a very entertaining matchup. Two really good point guards going against each other. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, if I'm getting out in front of my skis, I think we might see a little bit of a chance at a changing of the guard. I'm probably talking way out of turn on that one. People are going to bash me for that. They're going to say, why aren't you talking about Ja Morant or Luka Doncic as changing of the guard? Well, I don't know. De'Aaron Fox is just a different player. He's a different player than those guys. He plays his own game. He's a very fast player, very clutch player, and uh, I like to watch him. So let's see what will happen. But uh give you guys a couple of betting picks that I think might be interesting to take a look at for this playoff series. I was looking at points per game. Uh, they had the over-under for De'Aaron Fox set, I believe, at 26.5 three points per game if I'm not mistaken I think I would probably take the over in that um I think that's a pretty safe bet uh De'Aaron Fox is not going to get yeah 26.3 was the over under uh I think that's a pretty safe bet I think he's going to go over uh his season average is 25.3 but he had a lengthy stretch in the you know middle part of the season right after the all-star break where he was scoring 30 points plus a night they're going to need his scoring if they're going to win this game and rotations tighten up down the stretch. So unless they play really good defense against De'Aaron Fox, I think he's going to put up 20 to 25 shots a game. And I think he's going to have a really good chance to score on the order of 28 to 30 points a night. 
I might be way, way overestimating it, but I think the over in 26.3 points is a pretty safe bet for De'Aaron Fox. Then we've got Steph Curry on the other side of the ball. His over-under for points in this series is 29.6. Um, I'd probably take the under. I'd probably take the under in that. I think he's probably going to average about 20, 28 and a half. If the Warriors are going to win this series, it's not going to be because Steph Curry scores 50 every night. I think it's going to be more because the depth brings it home for them. Uh, I think the Kings... You know, their big two, Fox and Sabonis, could certainly give uh, the Warriors a little bit of trouble if they stay out of foul trouble. Uh, Sabonis has been one that's prone to get foul trouble routinely this year, so you never know what will happen there. I think in the season series, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember if these teams played four or five games. I know the Kings won at least one, maybe two games, and I think the Warriors won three. So I think they're either three and one or three and two in the season series, and uh, that probably is another reason why many, many pundits are picking the Warriors to win this series, because the Warriors are at full strength and the Kings are very inexperienced, but either way, it's going to be a fun series to watch. So from a card standpoint, I don't know what will happen. I think if the Kings win more games early on in the series, De'Aaron Fox's prices will spike just a little bit. Steph Curry's prices have such a good floor built in anyway. And I'm not selling any Steph Curry cards anytime soon. In fact, probably never. Uh, but I certainly would like to move off of some of De'Aaron Fox, but not the good ones, of course. And uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this little couple minute video talking about my favorite first round matchup of the NBA playoffs. Steph Curry against De'Aaron Fox, Sacramento Kings against the Golden State Warriors. It should be very, very fun. Cannot wait for tomorrow night's game in the Golden One Center, and the Kings crowd is going to be rocking. So take care, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Good night, everybody.